this is Diego with the Samsung Developer Program and today I wanted to create a small video for a quick tip and it's how to duplicate projects in Tizen Studio. Sometimes you want to make a full copy of your existing project. It could be because you want to modify one aspect, you want to experiment with it, add some uh, modifications, some features and just don't want to lose the project that you have so far. But in any case, you just want to copy every single thing without losing your original project. So you're going to have like two main options to do it. The first one obviously is to pick the project and go to the edit menu and do copy, of course, afterwards paste, or use the hotkeys that we see here in on a Mac that would be common C, common V, or in a Windows machine would be Control C, Control V. So I'm going to use the Control C, Control, well, Common V. Immediately it's going to ask you for a new name, in this case it's just adding a 2 here, so I'm just going to make it a little bit different duplicate, so at least we know. And you can modify the location where you want to put your project, in this case I'm just going to do the same. After that it's going to create or copy, in this case, all the files that we had in our original project and going to put them in uh, the second one. This is important is that all of the, the files are not just uh, copies but also their content and that is important especially with the config file because here we're saying the name of our application right and that is also going to be the same one that we're going to have in the copy hard rate monitor video sample. So uh, if you're not careful, you could end up having like two applications if you're going to submit both of them somehow to the Galaxy Store, uh, then you just have to pay attention to this. But after that, you should have a full copy of all the files, inc including images, including code, and libraries. So pretty much everything that you had inside of this folder is going to be copied in this new folder and you can start modifying without losing the progress that you had in the original one. Now, after that you can uh, treat this one as a regular project and you can run it in your emulator or just deploy it on your device depending on what you want and just start modifying it as, as it is. I hope you like this quick tip video and let me know what else would you like to see in upcoming videos and check the developer.samsung.com site for more information.